right, good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Thursday, February 2nd, 2023 planning board meeting. Uh, call the order and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. to board members. To my far left, we have Paul Imatucci and then Jerry Graybill, myself, Michael LaRue. We have Phil Roy, Don Ganarelli, and Cameron Halatic. Right? Yep. All right. Then we have Dave Andreessen from the Planning and Code Technician and Irish Griffith from Code Enforcement Officer and Lee J. Feldman from SMPDC. Okay. Um, I'll open the first public comment. Yeah, but that won't be in the public comment. That's for stuff that's not related to what we're talking about in the agenda. So new public comments. Just, yep. Yeah. No public comments. There's no public hearing. So the next is the approval of minutes for January 19, 2022. I was not here, so I will be recusing myself. I had an opportunity to review the minutes from the last board meeting. Uh, they're accurate. Uh, like a to make a motion to approve the minutes as drafted. No second. Okay, further discussion? All in favor? All right. All right, thank you. Next is old business preliminary major subdivision, map 36, lot 38, the Berwicks, Pine Hill Road, and Cemetery Road, civil consultants. Hi everyone, uh, Neil Raposa with civil consultants here on behalf of uh, Pine Hill Realty. Um, this uh, is the same project that's uh, been before you several times uh, here. Uh, there have not been any uh, modifications to the plan uh, since the last planning board meeting beyond uh, we've begun putting uh, the conditions of approval that we that we think will be will be uh, implemented in there, but we're still waiting for the final conditions to get the to get the final plans for signature to make sure all all of the issues are addressed. Uh, there's no real new information to present, so uh, if there's any questions that have come up, I'm happy to happy to answer them. And whatever the pleasure of the board is tonight. Dave, has he been provided a copy of the finding of fact that you drafted, or that was drafted, with the conditions? No, no, it wasn't on the wasn't online either. Gotcha. So I didn't, should I didn't should we it. read those conditions, or is that at a later? When you when you go to approve it gotcha. or not approve it, okay. Yeah, we don't get to see until you vote. <laughs> no, you're going to read them. Yeah, we're going to go through. We'll, them. we'll read them. Yeah. I'll be more than happy to email a copy of the conditions of approval and the findings of fact. Okay. All right. Lijay, do you have anything to add? I don't. Um, I did provide the um, recommended conditions of approval um, to David for him to put into his findings of fact. And um, I hope that um, <clears throat> I was able to address all of the issues that the um, abutters had um, concerns about uh, the last meeting. Uh, and unless you as board members choose to add or change anything from there, I think um, we're pretty in pretty good shape. Yeah, and the, the, the uh, conditions of approval and the findings of fact literally just changed at 445. Okay. So that, that's why they weren't posted online. Um, but I've been more than happy to make a copy for anybody that would want a copy. But they literally just changed is there a requirement for us dave to put those out before we vote on them for for public comment is that there's is there no there there's just never been oh, okay no. lee J. This, this is just what we've been discussing lee J. As, okay. as it's Understood. been going yeah. along yeah. lee J., there's there's am i correct <clears throat> that that is correct um <clears throat> they do not require public comment um and they are merely the conditions um if accepted and required as part of the development for the planning board to approve great okay. 
So we're not at completeness yet, either. We haven't voted that. Right. Right? We haven't gone to completeness of the application. Have we? Uh, I, be I believe you did, uh, only because um, you've already... held your public hearing and you've closed your public hearing. Yeah, we did. We did, Lee J. Yeah. I, I believe where we left off is we accepted the the uh, that and we were going to have conditions to, to add it to it. And I think that's where we're at, if I'm not mistaken. Right. But I don't think we ever actually took a vote on completeness. Could be mistaken. I'd have to look at previous minutes. <laughs> well, I know the on the uh, on Lee J's thing, it's highlighted still for vote for completion, conditions of approval, vote for approval of the plan and the findings of fact. See, we do all three. Yeah. Okay. Um, the waivers were approved, the high intensity soil survey, mm -hmm. and then the map scale not less than one inch to 40 feet. So it, the first would be the vote for completion. Right. So you um, you granted the waivers, the two waivers, which then would suggest that the rest of the application is complete because the applicant requested those waivers from their submission information, and that was granted. And so those were the only two requests that the applicant had. So um, as far as completion goes, I believe you can find the application complete. Okay. Um, and then move on to so, your next step. Okay, so this is the conditions of approval. Um, I'll read all of them as we go through them. So right now, number one, all sewer design plans must be reviewed and approved by the Berwick Sewer District prior to construction. <laughs> the Berwick Sewer District also requires construction observation during the installation of the sewer infrastructure Escrow accounts must be in place prior to review or construction observation by the sewer district. The project is conditioned on all written materials submitted to the board during the review process. Number three, the conformance with Article 13 of the subdivision regulations. The applicant shall provide a performance guarantee with the final submission application. Number four, the rock walls shall never be removed or altered on the property. Sorry, I'm just about to sneeze. I feel it. <laughs> all right, five. Uh, con during construction, all earth moving material shall be contained on site and all areas where bamboo is identified, the bamboo shall be eradicated in order to eliminate potential spread of the bamboo. Six. Any centrally located trash receptacles shall be screened and shall only be emptied, collected during the hours of 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. All monetization, monumentation, there we go, sorry, of the property shall meet the standards identified in Article 12, Section 12.8 of the subdivision regulations. And number eight, the applicant shall work with the abutters to identify the type of buffer they would like, i.e. a six-foot fence or arborvitae plantings. So those are the conditions. That, that's, that sounds like what, what, we, what you yep. talked what we talked about, yep. Bill, correct? Nothing, nothing shocking there. Yep. Yeah. We did um, we did put together uh, a cost estimate uh, to address uh, what the town uh, thought was appropriate for a uh, performance guarantee. And uh, Lee J did go through that and, and came up with a number that uh, the applicant was was okay with getting. We do need to have at least a conditional approval for him to go to the bank and get that letter of credit. Uh, but he was he was uh, fine with the letter that Lee, the number that Lee J came up with. So, May I ask you a question? Lee J, is there is there a uh, monetary value or a a formula to calculate what the escrow account should should have in it for the sewer issue? It, it's it, it's kind of ambiguous and and open ended. So there's no well, the formula based is is basically the cost of materials and the cost, which includes 
um, any backfill materials, any crushed stone that needs to go in, um, any um, of the actual sewer materials and the such. That is a number that is worked out with the sewer district. We're not, we don't do that on our own. Um, so the sewer district had been involved, I would assume, at this point with um, Neil on putting that number together. Okay. So the, our, our sewer district comes up with that number. Well, they work with the applicant I, okay. to make sure that it's an adequate number, yes. Okay. They, they work with the applicant and uh, Underwood engineer who does the the sewer review for the town. Okay. So uh, where we're at with that one is uh, we've just engaged with Underwood, and they get a whole separate escrow fee for their review and everything. Gotcha. So that comes right from the applicant to the sewer district, and then the sewer district contracts with them. So okay. still in the works with that one, so that doesn't – there's no – no connection allowed until all that gets uh, reviewed and approved Perfect. through them. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Great. Yeah, Chair? I got two questions. Based on our last meeting, there were some items we talked about. There was an existing culvert. That we <coughs> said that could possibly be conditioned that it does not get altered or anything because it drains the one property. I don't know, does that need to go in? The conditions here as well. May I? I believe that was in the area that Neil has is untouched on there. That's not being developed. Correct. So yeah. we're all right with that. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then the other thing I had was <coughs> where'd it go? I think we addressed it. I don't think it needs to be uh, put in here, but there. The, there was brought up about paving that there's no way they can pave that right away or anything like that, right? Correct. The easement area can cannot be paved. <laughs> what happened to the other thing I had here? There was two. No. Yeah, that's it. Everything else has been crossed off. So. Okay. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and make a motion to approve the uh, conditions approval as drafted. No. Okay, I'll second. Further discussion? All in favor? All right. Okay. Next is the vote for approval of the plan. Findings of fact. The findings of fact, sorry. Can somebody tell me if it's time to leave? Are you done with that property? That's over? It's over? No, Not yet. No, sir. It's almost. So I'll make a motion that we approve the findings of fact. I will second. Okay, further discussion? All in favor? Okay. Lee J, what's next for this application? Uh, next would be a final motion to approve the application um, uh, as presented with um, the inclusion of the findings of fact, which they've already done, and all conditions as proposed. Would that be at this meeting or the next meeting? That could be done at this meeting. No. No. Okay. Just We've already done that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we're looking for a motion for completeness? Yep. I will make a motion to find the application complete with the conditions or approved. Or approved. Yep, there we go. I will make a motion to approve the finding of fact and the conditions of approval. No. 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 <laughs> approve the application. Yeah, approve I will, the application. I will make a motion to approve the application. With the abutters about the bushes and stuff, why did they do that? It, that's in the uh, the amendment. Did we read the? Uh, yeah, we that was in the conditions. It and is in the conditions, so ma'am. There's no. It, it, it just says they'll speak to us, but I mean about it. But when do they do that? Um, 
their time. It's not something that we really condition. That's just something go that's. You don't go, go get, ahead. Go ahead. You don't get go, go ahead, Neil. Forty-five. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come here to ask. We cooperate with you. All right. Well, there's also, certain times to talk, and there's certain times not to talk. And we've already done the public hearing and already heard what the public has had to say. We've already adjusted everything according, and we've conditioned everything as needed. After that, can, there's this system. We can discuss it. I can talk to the outside. Yeah. I think just as a general thing, in these things, you need to make it really clear for people that don't do this all the time that really this is it. When the public hearing is ending, each time you say it, it's each time, but now you, last time it was like, we were apparently done. And we didn't have any clue that it was really done, and we'd never be able to say anything again. So it's just, yeah, it, it's hard to because. Kind of 75 lunch sure yep. and I know I'm not supposed to be talking about it. yeah, but it's hard because us, we would get our questions answered and it could all take right, six all right, months. All right. okay That's moving forwards we have a, we have a motion on on table and we are no already voted Phil could you make your motion yeah. again I'll make a motion to find the application complete no no, to approve. Yeah, approve. I will make a motion to approve. We want to make a motion to approve the application with the findings of fact and um, finding the application complete, just so you cover it all. So I'll make a motion to approve the application with the amended conditions and find the application complete. I'll second that. Thank you. Okay. Further discussion? Okay. All in favor? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, just just so folks know, um, because I, I I can't see anything, um, but I could hear the conversation that there is a thirty day period which you could retain someone to file an appeal to superior court if you chose to do that as an as what would be an aggrieved abutter. Um, so. Please understand, you do have that ability afforded to you as well. And who would hear that? The Superior Court, York, in York County. Thank you. Okay. So, Lee J, what's the uh, way ahead for this application? Uh, the way ahead for the application is for they need to get their um, bond, letter of credit, some sort of surety uh, in place. Um, I would suggest um, that there be a waiting period of 30 days. That's their choice, or if they choose to do that, um, before they forge ahead and, and pull any, any permits that may be needed for construction. I, they're probably still working out some of the details with Underwood Engineering on the sewer line. Right. Um, and um, the 30-day period would be in case any of these folks choose to uh, file an appeal. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, moving on in old business, revision to land use ordinance and subdivision regulations. Okay. What we have here, we work with uh, Christy Rabosca. She's been to a couple meetings. This was advertised in the newspaper twice. We're gonna have a public hearing on this, the next meeting of the 16th. This is the latest, truest copy that I have that we will be voting on. If you guys, um, not tonight, we have the public hearing first, um, and then you'll vote on this on the 16th, and then I'll present this to the selectmen, to select boards, excuse, excuse me. This is everything that we've been working on the last uh, three or four meetings. And she's done a good job in compiling everything. And this is not just the town of Berwick. This is pretty much every, every municipality in, in Maine. If I may. Yes. Um, yeah, yes. Um, so Christy works through um, our office on these, although we're not overly involved, we just kind of pay 
pay the bill for that stuff. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's called um, MS4 communities. They are the communities that have to meet um, the Federal Stormwater Clean Water Act, um, of which you are one, and um, the town of York is one, and I believe Elliot is one. And Christy is basically going from town to town and updating the ordinances to meet the new federal standard requirements. South Berwick is one too. Yes, thank you, South Berwick. Yep. Okay, Chippy. <laughs> and, and David is right. I mean, there are many towns that are MS4 towns throughout the state that um, are needing to update their regulations. It's not just um, the cluster down in your area. There, there are many communities that need to update their regulations for MS4. Dave, do we have, um, it's just we, we've gone through a couple of revisions of this. Do we happen to have one that we have track changes on? And the only reason I ask is there's a lot of stuff that's lined out. The stuff that's lined out is the existing stuff. It is. Okay. That will be yeah. taken out. Yep. Yeah. I gotcha. So the, the, the one thing that. is what's going in. Say that again? The underlined, underlined is going, going in. The yes. one thing that jumps out at me is the post-construction. Um, it was drafted as the person shall at least annually inspect, clean, and maintain. If we remove annually, I'm not seeing a periodicity peak. Oh, wait. Come on. 60 days. Okay, 60 Yeah, days. it's got to be maintained annually. Okay. I live in a subdivision uh, downtown, and I know that it's got to be maintained um, every, every year. Um, oh, I see that it somebody changed. from the, the planning department it's in revision C, comes out. Yep. Yep. Somebody, somebody from the planning department comes out with um, Christy or whoever else from her office, and we'll mm -hmm. you know inspect inspect it. Okay, yeah, just a I see it now. It says post construction honor, honor on July first. Yeah. I, I hadn't seen that. So yeah. okay, yeah. got it. That's a little oxygen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just, just makes it look where it's been taken. Right. And then the 30 days for the notice of violation. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Or sooner, yeah. Okay, so there's no action on that tonight, right? Because of the public hearing. Next. What I'm going to ask is, you have the, the the latest copy there. Does everything look good to you? Yeah. It, okay. Yeah, with like the next reading. with the next revision, have. No, there's just, just well, the next revision will just be the possible public uh, input on it. I got you. So if anyone comes in and has any other things that they need to speak about it, that's when we'll... Speak. The public hearing yes. will be on the 16th. And then if there's no... <laughs> there might not be any changes to that, and then we'll vote on it. If there's changes, then we'll amend something, and then we'll vote on it. Gotcha. But what you see in front of you will be voted on by this board on the 16th. Okay. Yeah. I've already advertised in the newspaper, and I'm going to advertise on the town's website. Yeah. And and uh, it's got to go through because it's got to get to get to the selectmen, right? So right. They can march, right? So Approve what it. you see there is what you're going to be voting on. Yeah. Right. Should the one we vote on be the final edit without the lined out stuff or do we need to no, that, that stays that stays. That just okay. shows what okay. goes and what stays i got you yeah. that, okay. that is that's to show you guys yeah. what gotcha. we used to yeah. be in there what's not right. but okay that's what, and that that's what the, the, does the public get that too as well the public will get that when yeah. i submit it to the right to that's the select saying, board so they can see the changes so they're absolutely not 50 people asking well what did you change to get right. to that gotcha. Gotcha. okay absolutely makes sense there you go okay all right 
Sounds Any good. Any further comments, questions? Yeah, it looks like it reflects everything that we had, had previously gone back and forth yeah. with a couple of times. Yeah. On. So, yeah, it looks it's like good, a, actually. Yeah. a good copy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, moving right along. There's no new business. I'll open up the second public comment. Um, no one here, no one on Zoom other than Lee J. So I'll close the second public comment and open up informational items. You guys did an excellent job on um, this application. When I used to be on the planning board, I always say that one out of every 20 applications gets this, we, we would have to extend mm -hmm. the, um, we would have to extend the public hearing. So with the public hearing, one of the things that I was doing when we had a lot of people for the public hearing was doing the five minutes you can talk for, and then you can go sit down. Once everybody's talked, then you can have you know, three minutes that you can come back up here and everybody can talk. That, um, that was what I did for these, but we did that last meeting. And I think that it's something that we should really stick to because we kind of see how things can go awry. And it's not that we made it up. The town people, the townspeople voted on it. So we didn't just make it up. We made it up, but then it, the townspeople voted on it. It is in the policy. It is in the policy. It is in the policy. Right. And I think they didn't understand that they had, you know, two what meetings where they had their time usually it's only one but we yeah. kept it open yeah. they all talked last time we addressed every one of their comments at least between the board and what but i think it's important to note that their comments did not go unaddressed and right. the majority of those comments were put in as conditions of approval yes. right so it did not fall on deaf ears and i i feel as board members we certainly did our due diligence in meeting you know the, the requirements of the developer but more importantly making it Right. you know acceptable and palatable to the abutters and I, right. I feel like we did a great job at that so. yeah, especially yeah. the guy yeah. with the driveway coming straight out mm -hmm. he was very happy that they moved it so yeah. he did not get the light so. that's the way that this is supposed yeah. to work right, right. and yeah, right. he even acknowledged that to me he said that was great yeah. so I think they, it's more or less uh, a lot of the public isn't too sure of our procedures on how we do how everything works and flows and they don't really realize that we don't have much power it's just a matter of does it fit the land use ordinance or not, and if it does, what are the things that the yeah. abutters right. don't like about it that we can change? The things that we can change, we we will. If we can't, then it it lines up with our. Um, I always said there was a lot of applications that would come through that I didn't like and that I didn't. I just I had a real heartache with, but because of the regulations, I had to approve it. Yep. And it's hard to I would neutral. use that time leading up to the town election in, in June to make a change to the manuals. Mm. And that's, you know, and I think there was twice. And that, that, was, that was what we had the changes for. So, um, but th thank you for, for um, trudging ahead. And I think that we got, we know what we need to do now, five and three minute rule. Um, May I? Yes. I'm just curious if Lee Jay has any suggestions, having watched this whole thing play out, any suggestions for the board or for, for Dave or I going forward at, at meetings? Oh, thanks, Irish. I appreciate um, the, the ask. Um, the only thing that, that I think we could work on, um, if I can find the time, and I certainly need to for you folks, um, in the sense that you're one of our, you know, steady clients, is there may be an opportunity to draft out um, the process for you to have in front of you at every meeting, so that you know, you know, what the steps are you need to follow, um, and and your voting process and procedures. Um, don't, don't get it wrong. I mean, it's very complicated when you're sitting there. Um, it was a little clunky tonight, but it wasn't bad. Um, we got through it, but I think that, um, I could work, um, with staff to 
develop a one page sheet that just tells you what you need to do. Thanks. Okay, I have um, just two things real quick. Dave does have something that he's already started working on for that. Um, so that's great. He's, he started working on that today. Um, there's also a uh, workshop through Maine Municipal Association that I've purchased for planning board and board of appeals because obviously I deal more with board of appeals. Do you think that would be beneficial for the planning board to sit in, maybe do like a joint workshop and play it for my oh, my board and this board? Absolutely. Um, you know, I've I be, pre COVID I used to do a lot of um, live workshops like that for for several boards in in a region all the time, and um, we got away from that during the COVID process, and um, I've been asked. Um, by a couple of towns about doing workshops. I think we're at the point where if, um, for example, um, Berwick, um, your planning board folks wanted me to come in, um, which I will start doing. Uh, I was planning on being there tonight, but my car is not with me. It's in the shop right now. Um, <laughs> so, um, but, but doing a um, workshop on, on policies and procedures, um, is something that we could certainly do um, for the board. And I would suggest, yes, um, watch the video tape with the, with the Board of Appeals. Um, some of their process is a little different than the planning board, but don't hesitate to put together some questions and notes and uh, we can um, get together and talk about that stuff. Well, the main municipal one's supposed to have planning board and Board of Appeals stuff. so. I think it would be beneficial for for both maybe and and then they can draft questions and then maybe when you do a workshop for us you can kind of tailor it towards what their questions absolutely are. absolutely yep absolutely. yep every town operates a little different you know and mma is going to give you a um a canned um presentation which is fine they're covering the the laws and the procedures um and then uh, we can tailor some of your questions to um the way you folks operate so just a basic overview and then it might make yep. it a little easier since we are throwing a lot of work on dave and lee j to make it so it's a little less uh, cumbersome when it comes time absolutely for absolutely all right yep. perfect so dave you can work that one out <laughs> you can work that Do out anything else nope that was it sorry didn't mean to intrude just <laughs> um so got this application approved that's great. We're not going to see Neil, hopefully, for a while, you know, because hopefully he's not going to be back here. Till the next project. Till the next project. Okay. Uh, <laughs> speaking of the next project, uh, we're not going to discuss it, but I just want to let you know that the 16th, we're going to have um, ATAR Engineering is going to be coming by to do um, the Long Swamp Road, Alley Pond Road, um, and... I'm going to be talk talking to um, Lee J, and it, most likely this will be Hannah's go around, but I info them on both of them. So I just got the plans dropped off today uh, for this, um, literally like four o'clock. So um, that will be coming up. Um, and then finally, the only other thing I have is um, we need some nameplates. So I've got my old nameplate here. You've got, well, you mm -hmm. can use your nameplate. Yeah, I've got my. You, you guys don't have your nameplate, and um, neither does Matt. So I've got new nameplates. Finally, I figured out how to order them. <laughs> so um, you're going to be getting nameplates. Nice. So does anybody have anything for me? Okay. All right. Okay. No update on South Berwick, right? Um, the last email Dave sent us is the next meeting is what? Like another? It week? might be. It might be the fifteenth. Yeah, the fifteenth. It might be. Um, oh, yeah. Right now, they're going through a uh, a transition with their town planner, code enforcement officer. It's still the same person, but um, I'm getting the information that I'm getting. Will I will immediately get it out to you? Okay. 
Uh, so in, in that case, um, Jen um, has been coordinating and talking with me on a, on a daily basis about a lot of things. I'm not acting as much as the planner for them as um, I do for you folks, but she um, talks with talks with me almost daily about things. And I did ask her about Sam, about that project um, coming back. And um, we are waiting on the applicant, but um, I think they are um, going to be coming back soon on this project. You will be notified, absolutely. Yes, it looks like, it looks like it's gonna be the Wednesday before the next meeting, according to Jennifer's um, last email because they weren't gonna be ready for, um, but I, I will let you guys know as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay. Anything else for informational items? No, sorry. No, all right. If there are no further items for consideration from the esteemed Burgess meeting room in the depths of the Berwick Town Hall, make a motion to adjourn. I second that motion. Okay, all in favor? All right. All right. Thank you. Good night.